second class. Hi guys, welcome back to 44th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous video, we have seen the basic working principle of the rotary encoders and also made a increment and decrement counter. So I would recommend before watching this video, please go through the previous video. I'll leave a link in the description box. This video will be a continuation of the previous one. So along with the encoder logic, additionally with the encoder we'll be also using a servo motor and controlling its position. So for this tutorial you need Arduino board, rotary encoder, servo motor. If I power this servo motor using the Arduino board, the power might be not sufficient. As an external 5V power supply, I'll be using this mobile charger and at last some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections, the 5V and ground of the encoder module goes to Arduino 5V and ground. The DT and clock pin goes to Arduino digital pin 2 and 3. In case of servo motor, the 5 volt and the ground will be directly connected with the external 5 volt supply like this. Also make sure the ground of the servo motor is connected with the Arduino ground in common. The signal pin of the servo motor goes to Arduino digital pin 6. Moving on to the code, I have already opened the previous tutorial encoder basics code. So in this we are reading clock and DT pins of the encoder and checking which direction the shaft is being rotated. So same is printed here either clockwise or anti-clockwise. During clockwise rotation we are incrementing the counter and for anti-clockwise we are decrementing the counter. So this is the basics code for the encoder. If you want to understand this, in my previous video, I have completely explained the concept along with the line by line code. So make sure you check out that tutorial before coming here. For this servo control, we'll use the same code as base and continue adding the servo logic. First in the declaration section, I'll include the servo library which is servo.h also create an object of class servo I'll give the object name as s1 in the setup function I'm using this attach function to set the pin used for servo control which is 6 in the loop, almost 90% of the logic remains same. Since we know that servo motors rotate from 0 to 180 degree, so we have to limit our counter to this range. So assume if we are rotating in the clockwise direction and count value exceeds 180 degree, we have to just limit it to the last value. So simple if statement to check if counter is greater than 180 if it's greater then limit the count to 180 similarly so in the decrement section we should not allow the count value to go to the negative side or less than 0 so one more if statement to check if count is going less than 0 in this case limit the count to 0 So with this logic, our count value will stay between 0 and 180, even if you rotate beyond this range. 
so the last thing left is to rotate the servo shaft based on this count for that we have write function and in the argument we can directly give the degrees in our case it's count which is based on the encoder rotation so that's it the code it's quite simple if you understand encoder and servo basics so we'll upload this and see how it works So as we can see the servo motor shaft is rotating very slowly this is because we are incrementing the count value by one for every rotation of the encoder so for any of your application if you want the servo shaft to rotate at faster rate then instead of incrementing or decrementing by one step we can increase the steps according to the requirement to make it simple i'll declare one variable in the declaration section with interior type and call it as step so i'll give phi just to demonstrate so here instead of count plus plus will make count plus steps so every time i rotate the encoder it increments the count value by plus 5 similarly in the decrement section instead of decrementing by 1 will decrement by 5 which is steps yeah so with this we should be able to see faster rotation of the servo shaft i'll upload the code again So this time the shaft is moving faster since our increment and decrement is happening at five steps. So in this way you can change the step value based on your requirement. That's all for this video guys. I hope it was helpful. For code and circuit diagram visit the link provided in the description box. Thank you for watching and for more tutorials subscribe and follow us on Instagram I'll see you again in the next one